Good afternoon, everyone. This is Tyler, and we're here to continue our talk about how to write good characters. So last episode, we talked a lot about the importance of creating physical space and when creating your scenes and when scripting conversations. This time, we will be talking about the speech itself and how you can further develop characters by focusing on the way that they talk. Now, technically, this also has a lot to do with physicality in that you should always be thinking about the way your characters sound when they speak. You should be reading their text aloud to hear how their sentences sound when they're spoken so that you can make sure that it's in their voice. Because everyone has their own way of speaking. They have a unique rhythm and their own set of words that they focus on. And so you should also develop a character such that they have these speaking patterns as well. So here are a couple things to keep in mind when you're planning how characters talk and how their conversations should proceed. Now first, you're going to want to develop their speaking patterns the same way you develop every other aspect of their character. Now this doesn't just mean physically how the voice sound, do they have a deep raspy voice or is it more high pitched and whimsical, but also their speech patterns, the vocabulary, how they structure sentences, do they ramble, do they ask a lot of questions when they speak, or do they forget to think about what they're saying and just say words and not really have a place where they're going with it. Now there are countless ways to develop a character's speech and think about how they actually engage in conversation, and the differences between your characters also don't have to be all that major. Most of the time your characters shouldn't have quirks to their speech. There shouldn't be a major, easily identifiable thing that they do when they're talking. Rather, it's more of a personal voice you should be developing. You don't really want a character that speaks in iambic pentameter for no reason, or uses song titles in every sentence they say, because it's really distracting and doesn't really add anything to the story. Instead, you're focusing on the range of their vocabulary, what filler words they use, whether they say though or although. It's focusing on the small things your characters do to give them a unique voice, and you'll definitely want to write these speech patterns down because it will be very hard to keep track of what each character does in their speech and you need to do it right consistently in order for these characters to have that unique voice. Second thing to keep in mind, the way we talk changes based on our emotional state. You should never have to write she said angrily. The anger should be apparent in their movements and the way their breath becomes short and strained. Now of course this was all covered last time when I talked about physicality but this rule also applies to the words that they use, the way that they speak. Angry people are defiant. They say no to this and no to that. They talk about other people's mistakes and blame their problems wherever it will stick. You did this. You screwed up. You, you, no, no. When people panic, they start to speak quick, short sentences and most of them commands. Go. You have to do this. Wait. Behind you. Don't drop that. When people cry, they stop speaking about specifics. It becomes about pronouns and indirect statements. I don't know. I just wanted to stop. It's not fair. And so when you're writing conversations, you need to pay attention to how your characters are feeling at that given moment and change their speech slightly to reflect these changes. And also, if a character is centered around a particular emotion, you'll want to bleed these speech patterns into the way that they talk on a regular basis. Let it become apparent by the way that they act and the way they speak so that readers can discover this about your characters. Make the words themselves convey the emotion. Don't just say, this person was sad and then they said this. The fourth and final point for developing characters through speech is to think about how your character traits would influence their speech. Every character trait that you can imagine should have some influence on the way that that character speaks. More educated characters tend to have more formal sentence structures. If characters are from different countries or places in the world, they should all have some form of regional accent. And maybe they have a couple expressions or idioms that won't really make sense to anyone else. Young people develop their own slang and expressions that can be imperceptible for people who don't grow up in that culture. Children have a very limited vocabulary and don't use complex sentences, but they will for no reason have access to this really complex word that they will use all the time because it sounds funny. If your character is a mystic wizard who was frozen in ice for a thousand years and just emerged, he's gonna say some kooky stuff. And as characters grow, as character arcs resolve, as the story progresses and characters change their personality slightly, that should reflect in their speech. Maybe character becomes more jaded and starts talking about generalities and absolutes. Maybe characters become more relaxed and familiar with other characters and start to use more contractions and slang and joke around a little bit more. This is part of that character's progression, They're, the way that they talk changing as a result of them as a character changing. And this will help make your characters feel more whole and developed when these speech patterns change as a result of things that happen to them. So that's all for this episode of the Young Writers Vlog and the end of our first series on how to create stronger characters. I still have a lot of things that I could say about this, but we're going to take a break and start talking about different things in the coming videos. So if you have any questions or things you would like me to cover in future videos, leave a comment below. Until next time, have a good night and keep on writing.